Okay, here's the dark brown rebel soldier. This figure was made in Spain and I've got a regular Hong Kong version of the rebel soldier just to compare the two to show the differences. So the main difference is the paint on the uh, vest is a lot darker on this figure and the boots are darker on this figure as well. The face, you can see that this face is a lot pinker whereas this one's very pale. There is a pink version of this figure as well and you've got the uh, brown around the hat is that colour whereas on this one it's a lighter tan both come in the same blaster and this figure I'd say the body is a bit whiter as well but this one's been played with so it's got a bit of wear around bits and places and stuff blaster comes with is the typical Bespin blaster which came with a lot of the Empire Strikes Back figures there's the back of the figure, you can see it says Hong Kong there, Lucasfilm Limited, and then the back of this one, it's got a bar, raised bar where it should say Hong Kong, and you can see the differences between the two in terms of the colour of the vest. Uh, I'm not sure there's many sculpting differences, there might be a little bit of sculpting difference in say here, let me just have a look. Now they look pretty much the same. Okay, so this is your Spanish made in Spain version and this is your Hong Kong version. So it's probably just at the factory, they did, didn't have the same shade of paint so they just used the dark brown and a light, light flesh color whereas they used a more pinkish for... But I mean it really makes the figure look quite different. That, that it has a different uh, shade of paint. This figure is quite uh, valuable, it's quite highly sought. I mean you're talking over, I mean loose in mint condition you're talking about 200 pounds, uh, 150 if you're lucky. Um, graded say 200 plus, maybe 400, up to 400, depending on this is 80% and uh, it's a pretty good grade. And then you've got this version here, the lighter version, but this is the one we're looking at. It's a dark brown rebel soldier. Last week I showed a Lando Christian made in Spain as well. And I did sh start to show this, so this is uh, a better look at the figure. You can see the raised bar on the back of the leg where they've crossed out the place of manufacture. Quite a nice figure, very desired, you know, it's like one of the main uh, variations to collect is the dark brown rebel soldier, hence it's kind of expensive. And then you've got the, I mean you just look at the colour differences in the vests, the face and the boots. Okay, so that's your dark brown rebel soldier, this is one of the highly sought variation and hence it's expensive. Okay, there's other variations with the Rebel Soldier in terms of um, what would I say um, skin tone, uh, whether it's a painted head or a molded head, same with the legs and stuff like that. So there's quite a lot of variations with these figures as well with uh, ones made in Asia as well. So that's your dark brown rebel soldier and your regular rebel soldier. Dark brown rebel soldier. Very rare. Pale face. Top item. Cost a lot of money this. Made in Spain. Can be found on Spanish cards and tri logos. Really nice. Dark brown rebel soldier. Great figure. Really nice. Okay, I've got my dark brown rebel soldier plus my Polish third generation AFA 85 1994 rebel soldier. 
So this was used, the head and the body from the rebel soldier and the arms and legs from the biker scout and painted in these bizarre colours. So that's the Polish 1994 third generation. We have a PVP or European dark brown rebel soldier. Um, you can find this figure on Trilogo cards and Spanish cards and also the regular Hong Kong version Rebel Soldier. So I, I did a review of this maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, dark brown plus the regular. This one's really looks quite different. A lot shorter. I mean the arms and legs make it look really different. It's pretty cool though. It's a nice oddity to collect Spanish boot, I mean Polish bootlegs. And then you've got this one here and the original. Okay, so hope you enjoyed looking at this dark brown rebel soldier. I'll probably look at it again down the line, but thought I'd better get it done. Okay, so cheers, bye. Okay, so this is the Spanish. Uh, Landau Christian. This is also a figure made in Spain. I'm not going to review it now. I'm just going to just give you a quick look at it because this is a really rare item. Cost me a fortune. And this is the dark brown rebel soldier. And he's really nice because he's got different color apps to the regular figure. When I do a proper review of it, I'll show you it with the regular figure as well so you can see how different it looks. And it's Star Wars dark brown rebel soldier. Lucasfilm Limited, no co country of origin 80% and this one is cost me a fortune dark brown boots dark brown tunic and a really pale face there's a pink version of this pink face version as well so you've got two figures that are made in Spain two very rare this one's incredibly rare and, and goes for big bucks Okay, so these are your two figures. Okay, so cheers, bye. Okay, here we've got the Rebel Commander. So this one I just got, it's AFA 75, oh sorry, UKG, sorry. Figure gets 75%, paint 80%, Star Wars Rebel Commander, Lily Lede, 1980, no country of origin. So this is the Mexican version, and this is from childhood, this is the Hong Kong version. So if you look carefully, you can see a few differences. Like you can see that this Mexican version has got a lot longer moustache. The brown on the scarf is a slightly different colour. It's a more of a sort of brownish grey, whereas this is a more of a mid-brown. And the skin texture is slightly different. Um, other differences are, if you look here, there's a few stripes there, one, two, three, and this one hasn't got, it's only got one stripe there. So that's one difference. Uh, what other differences are there? The, the mid torso of this figure is quite brown as well, or, or, or yellowed slightly. Uh, the boots as well, you can see that the Mexican ones, the Lily Lede boots are a lot darker than this. these boots here, the Hong Kong ones, which are a lot more of a tannish colour. Also unique to this figure, the Mexican version, was he came with Chewbacca's bowcaster as his weapon. Uh, there's a really rare version of the Rebel Soldier, that's the um, dark brown vest version of the Rebel Soldier. That's really rare, cost a lot of money. It would, it would cost loose, it would cost three times as much as this figure on the card. And let's have a quick look at the UK grading. Star Wars Return of the Jedi Rebel Soldier, 1983, Tri Logo 79, back, archive, blah blah blah. Card 80, fig, bubble 80, figure 90, 80% UK graders. There's the UKG sticker. Really nice image there from the Hoff battle scene of the Rebel Soldier in front of the Raider light laser cannon. Okay, so that's your Tri Logo Rebel Soldier. Really nice item it's got the language got the title in English and in French French is soldier rebel okay so that's your tri logo rebel soldier cheers goodbye